CoreCalc gives you collaborative calculation in the cloud. It's an online computing website that gives you access to many programming languages for free, including Python, which is the key programming language of this course, together with OR, which is used for statistical analysis, Julia, which is a fast numerical programming language, Octave, which is an open source version of MATLAB, together with the compiled languages Java, C++, and Fortran. CoCAC also comes with SageMat, which is a powerful computer algebra programming language similar to Mathematica. And Jupyter Notebooks, which are interactive documents enabling you to program, write text, mathematics, and other media such as video and audio. Besides the programming languages, you can also use CoCal to write and publish technical documents using LaTeX or a simpler language called Markdown. CoCalc is also a learning management platform which enables you to create courses, enroll students, and carry out assessment and provide handouts. Fundamentally, however, CoCalc is a collaboration platform which enables you to take any document or programming file on the system and collaborate in real time via text editing or discussion via video or a chat room with students on courses and with colleagues. To start using CoCalc, you simply go online to CoCalc.com. As a website, of course, you can access this from a desktop to a tablet to even a mobile phone. And Google Chrome is the recommended browser to use. Once you go to the website, it will provide a number of options to log in. For Sheffield University students or staff, we of course can just click on G and use our university email address. And indeed, it's a relatively straightforward process and within seconds, you've got an account and have access to all the functionality. Working on CoCalc is essentially based around folders or projects. Now, a project folder is a collection of files that you create and maintain. All of this runs on a Linux environment. And the other significant detail is that your project folders can be used and used privately, or you can share them to collaborators. Every time you log into CoCalc, you essentially see the list of project folders that you've created or that are shared with you as a collaborator or a student. Together with the project folders, you can see who are the main collaborators on each project and when recently they were used. And of course, you can have private projects for your own personal work. The bell in the top right hand corner is to alert you when you have any discussion, messages, or indeed contact from students or collaborators. We will look at this in more detail towards the end of this video. Creating a new project is very simple. You give it a name, you create it, and you end up with an empty folder from where you can start creating files. The folder name or the project name will be a project tab. And as you open more and more projects, they will appear on the top. A file manager is included in CoCalc, and this is an important feature. So you can copy, create, delete, and even share files online. An important feature of CoCalc is the automatic backups. This is access through the Lifebuoy symbol on the top right. And this is essentially an automatic backup performed every few minutes on all of your work. These backup snapshots enable you to time travel using a, a very simple GUI interface backwards through your edits to get back to a point before an unforeseen deletion or error. Creating files on CoCalc is very straightforward. Click on Create. And while you can drag files from your local computer into the directory, you can also just make your own from scratch. Just enter a file name into the box, add a file extension. Click File to create it, or click on the drop down menu and you will see the full selection of different file types that you can use on CoCalc. This is quite extensive and includes many programming file types from C, Java, Fortran, Python, HTML, and many, many more. Um, so it's worth looking at the drop down menu just to get an overview on the wide extensive functionality that you can run online with CoCalc. CoCalc enables you to 
code online for free. However, if you want to have some more stability in online work, it's recommended that you purchase upgrades. And the upgrades are defined per project. They essentially transfer the project from the free server to a upgraded server. The benefit here is that you have more stability, more RAM and other resources. If you are a student on a course, these upgrades should be provided to you automatically. And if not, contact the course manager. Also in the settings menu, you can see in the top left, just a simple description and title for the project folder. And on the top right, you can add collaborators to help you develop your project using their email address or username. And lastly, in the settings menu, it's worth pointing out that you can manually stop any project or indeed restart it. And this sometimes is useful if you want to preserve resources by shutting down inactive projects. Next, let's have a look at the file manager. Specifically, how do you go about moving and uh, copying files from one project or location to another? Essentially, you select the file or collection of files by selecting the box left of the file. From there, you can simply copy, delete, or share the file by clicking on the relevant icon above. And this enables you to organize your files into uh, an efficient way, whether it's using folders or, or copying them from one location to the next. Finally, let's have a look at the chat room functionality on CoCalc. This is a key feature, especially if you're um, a student and you're having difficulty on an assignment. Most assignment folders should include a chat room file that should end in dot sage chat once you click on this you should see a chat window open up from where you can start asking questions and as soon as you do a an alert will appear on the bell icon of your teacher or or academic the answer or any discussion on the in the chat room can contain technical mathematical language by using uh, latex or markdown code in the message window itself. So this is incredibly useful to discuss programming or mathematical challenges. Other than the chat window, um, which you can also convert into a video chat, there is the common functionality that every file on CoCalc has a little speech bubble in the top right hand corner. And this speech bubble is a direct discussion window to anyone who has access to that file, such as a collaborator or a teacher on a course. Let's look at a simple example. Clicking on the icon, you see a text window appear. One user who has access to the file can immediately ask a question or suggest an edit. And as soon as this is posted, the other second user can see it and respond. We switch to a second user who has an alert, sees the message and types some reply. A great feature of, of, of CoCalc in terms of collaboration is that multiple users can edit in real time a single document. And similar to Google Docs, there'll be a little icon or flag on screen while one user is editing. So indeed you could have multiple users all editing programming files or Jupyter notebooks or LaTeX documents together in real time. So this is a very powerful and novel functionality for online computing. As a student or a teacher, of course, this enables you to get direct feedback and to work through any, any problems 